everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making this awesome evergreen ski hat. This hat is super fun to make. It looks like a knit stitch in these sections here. We're using single crochet to make this design along with front post and back post double crochets to make this part of the design. And this pattern is so quick and easy. I use just one skein of yarn less than 200 yards of yarn. Um, so I'll get into the supplies we need and then I'll get into sizing info and then we'll get into making this piece. So big thank you to We Crochet or Knit Picks for providing this yarn today. I'm using Brava Worsted Weight Yarn. Like I said, uh, less than 200 yards is needed. I still have quite a bit of yarn left over in this one. Uh, this is called Dublin Green, but you can use any worsted weight, size 4, medium worsted weight yarn. This is just a premium acrylic yarn. Uh, you can use like a Lion Brand Vanish Choice, a Red Heart Super Saver, or this Brava yarn comes in an eclectic amount of colors. You can choose this as well, and I'll link these products in the description below. You are also going to need an H size hook. This is a five millimeter crochet hook. This crochet hook is super fabulous because this one is hand carved, it's ergonomically cut, and it is a wooden crochet handle that fits perfectly in the palm of my hand and it helps me crochet for a long period of time. You can get this hook or ones like this, spindle type hooks, from the Etsy shop Would Be Fancy. W-O-O-D, would be fancy. I'll link this in the description box below so you can see uh, all the crochet hooks that are available. These are so wonderful. You choose your favorite crochet hook and they are fixed inside permanently. And you can get spindle hooks or the classic look where that fits like this. Or if you crochet like this, it uh, fits also uh, around your hand like that. So very cool. Uh, crochet hooks. They are made by my own dad, so they are uh, fabulous, and uh, yeah, you can check them out there. This is an H size hook we're going to use today, five millimeters. Also, a scissor and a yarn needle just to cut your yarn and sew in your ends is also needed. So those are all the supplies. Now, I'm going to be making a child teen size hat in this tutorial, but in the crochet pattern, if you check out the description box, it will link you to yarnutopia.com where you'll find other sizes in the written instructions for smaller or bigger sizes. There's a child size, you go up to uh, 54 stitches, or there's an adult size, you go up to 66 stitches. In this crochet pattern, in this tutorial today, we are going up to 60 stitches around our hat, and that will fit a teen, like a child teen size. So you can make this also longer or shorter, um, depending on hat measurements uh, for the head of the size that you're going to make. Uh, for your hat. So super simple once you figure out where your stitches go and it worked up really fast for us. We filmed this and uh, made this hat in what two hours? So you can make this pretty quickly if you follow along with me. So a uh, big thank you to We Crochet Knit Picks for this yarn. Huge thank you to my dad who's over my shoulder right now. <laughs> He's filming this whole tutorial and posting it up on YouTube for everyone to watch for free. And uh, thanks to you for watching. Hit that subscribe button and then let's get started and make this evergreen ski hat. All right, we're gonna start out by making a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, then fold this down and then pull your long end through that circle there and pull tight and there is your slip knot. You can insert your hook and we can begin. So to start out, we are going to chain two. If you wanna start with the magic ring, you can start with the magic ring and put nine single crochets in your magic ring. But I'm gonna chain two, so yarn over, pull through, one and two. And in the second chain from the hook, this one right, right by the, our slip knot here, we're gonna put nine single crochets in there. Okay, so go in, then yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. That's a single crochet. So we're gonna make nine of those in that same chain. So there's one, here's two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, and if you have a uh, circle here open, we're going to take this um, straggler here and we're going to sew that in and it will close up your top. Also later if you do add a palm, that will be hidden under the palm, so it really doesn't matter. We're going to slip stitch to the first single crochet of this round, so count back 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, right at the top of that stitch, just insert your hook, yarn over, pull through and pull through the loop on your hook. Just like that. And that is round one. Super simple. Now for this first part of the hat, I'll show you my other hat that I had made uh, partially off camera. You can see here, we're actually working in the V of the stitch and not in the top of the stitch. And we're working in rounds and we're gonna slip stitch to the first stitch. I know that's a lot of information right now, but I'll show you exactly how to do it. So you can see here, it looks more knit. It looks almost like a knit look type of stitch. Like you can see the upside down V's here. Point them out here. V, this is like an upside down V here. So we're working from the top down. Okay, so it, our stitches look like this. And you can see the V type of stitches because we're working into the V. Okay, so on this piece that we just made, you can see here, our first stitch is kind of difficult to see just because of slip stitching into it, but you can see the V right here. Okay, now let me chain one. We're not turning our work for this whole project, okay? So chain one, and then you can see here, you can kind of separate your stitches a little bit to make sure you can see it a little better. And there is one line and there's another line. So we're just going to go between the two, pop it to the back, okay, yarn over and pull it through and kind of pull up a little bit and then yarn over and pull through two loops. So we have to put two single crochets in each stitch around. If you feel like round one is a little too difficult for you to see those V parts of the stitch, you can work into the top loop part of the stitch for round two, and that's fine. But once you get closer to like the sides of your hat, you wanna get that knit look stitch to get the same pattern look as my hat. So we wanna put two single crochets in each stitch around. So there's one going back into that same spot. I'm just using this last stitch as a guide then. Just popping that back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, this next stitch, if you need to, you know, separate your stitches, kind of look for the V part. So, as you can see right here, it's a, it's a bit more clear here. This line, vertical line, and this vertical line make a little V. Do you see that? I hope so. We're going to pop in, and what I like to do is use my hook part of my crochet hook and kind of go around the first vertical line and kind of pop my hook into kind of hook around that and then push through. And that kind of works well for me. So then pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And then go back into that same spot. And the second stitch in that spot is a little easier because you already made a stitch in there. Okay, then hop to the next. So you can see here, here's our stitch. Here's the V part. One, two, so we're gonna go in between those. So again, I like to hook that first part and just kind of shove my hook in. Then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So there's one. And obviously the looser your stitches are, the easier it will be to see the V part. So you can see the stitches we've made already for round two, you can see these V's pretty clearly now. So for round three then, it'll be a lot easier to view. But you know, in every crochet project, round one is always the most difficult. <laughs> or row one is always the most difficult. So, okay, here's my next stitch. You can see there's a line and there's a line. So we're going to go between the two. And doing a stitch in between those lines like that creates this, like, V look. 
And that looks very knit-like. It's like a knit type of stitch. I wonder if that's what it's called, knit stitch maybe? <laughs> Probably have to look that up. But it makes a different type of design than actually looking crocheted. And it can only be achieved using the single crochet technique. So there's one, two. So for round two, you should have 18 stitches around. Let's see here, one, two, and our last stitch right here. And once you make your last two stitches, we can slip stitch to the first stitch. I'm gonna count my stitches here. One, two, three. 18 sweet so once you have 18 stitches around you can go into the top of the first stitch okay so this chain one doesn't count as anything so go to the top of the first stitch under those two loops and just slip stitch so yarn over pull through and through and then chain one and we can continue on round three so for round three Make sure you chain one in the first stitch of this round, which mine is right here. Whoops. Hang on a second, my cat just jumped on my table. I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. Continuing on, so I've chained one. We do not turn our work. You can see my first stitch right here that we slip stitch into it, and you can see the V part right here under it. We're going to put two single crochets in the first stitch. So one and two working in the between the two vertical lines there. And then one single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, then here's my next stitch right here. We're gonna repeat that sequence all the way around. So in this stitch right here, around or between those two vertical lines, put two single crochets, one and two, and then one single crochet into this next stitch here. Just like that. Okay, so repeat that all the way around. At the end of round three, you should have 27 single crochets. Your work might start to kind of fold and wave like this all the way around, that's okay. It'll, it'll flatten out and do okay um, when we are done increasing, but this increase part will kind of make a little bit of a wavy, bowling type of look to it, but don't worry about that. The hat turns out super fabulous in the end. So just repeat that sequence around. So two single crochet in the next stitch, and then one single crochet in the next. And once you get a hang of where your stitches need to go, it's pretty simple to find where the vertical lines are where you need to put your hook in. So I'll do that and then I'll be right back. All right, I have 27 stitches around for round three and you can start to see it's starting to make a weird shape. That's okay. We're going to slip stitch to the first stitch right here right at the top. If you need to count back 27, do that and then go into the top of the stitch, yarn over, pull through and through for a slip stitch. Then chain one and we're going to continue increasing. So for the next round we have to put two single crochets in this first stitch, again between the two vertical lines. And actually you can kind of see the pattern now. See how it's like this V is in this V, it's in this V? So they're gonna just keep increasing. And that looks really cool. It looks knit. I love it. Okay, so first stitch gets two single crochets. Oops. One. And two. And then the next two stitches get one single crochet in each of those. So one and one. Okay, and then just repeat that sequence all the way around. So two single crochets in this next stitch. And if you don't want to work into the V part of the stitch, you can work at the top of the stitch. You just won't get the same look. I think I said that already, sorry. One, two, okay, and then the next two stitches get one 
stitch. Okay, so two in the same stitch and then one in the next two stitches. So two single crochets in this next stitch. One and two. And then one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. One and one. At the end of round four, you should have 36 single crochets. So I'll do that and then I'll come right back. All right, it does look really wonky already, but don't worry. <laughs> Just stick with me here. It's gonna work out, I promise. So now we're gonna slip stitch to the first stitch. So just ignore this chain one, go into the top of this first stitch. If you have to count back 36 stitches, do that. And then it should be this stitch here. Yarn over, pull through and through. And then chain one and continue on to round five. Round five, we have to single crochet uh, two single crochets in this first stitch. So one and two, and then one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. So you can kind of see how the pattern is going. Each round you go up, you just have to have one extra single crochet between the increases. So last round it was an increase and then one in the next two, this one's an increase and then the one in the next three, the next round will be an increase, one in the next four. So if you can continue on your full increase, however many you need, um, I have the written pattern on my website, yarnutopia.com, where you'll see uh, for each size, for a child size, teen or adult size, um, where you need to, how many you have to increase around. So round four, I'm sorry, this is round five now. Um, we have an increase and then we have one in the next three. So I just put two single crochets in this next stitch and then one in the next three now. So one in that one, one in that one and one in that one, and then I have to increase again. So two single crochets in this next stitch, and then one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. So for, uh, this would probably fit actually a baby size, so you could stop increasing at 45 stitches around for a little baby sized hat and then go on to making the sides of your hat. Um, but I'm gonna be making like a child size for this video. Just want it to fit my son. So two in this one, one in one and one. Okay, two single crochets in the next stitch. One single crochet in each of the next three. So at the end of round five here, you'll be able to have or you will have 45 single crochets around. So I'm going to do that for the rest of this round, and then I'll come back and show you round six. All right, just finishing round five. I have 45 stitches around. So now we're going to slip stitch in the first single crochet stitch right here, just at the top there. Yarn over, pull through and through. Chain one. And now we can go on to round six. See how it's looking so far. But you can see we're, since we're working into the V, how they line up really nicely actually. That looks really cool. So you can see my increases and just working in the V. It works in each V, it just that like looks knit. So that's fantastic. So now we have 45 stitches, we have to get up to 60 stitches, so we have to do an increase again to 54 stitches. Sorry, it's all math <laughs> in the head. So um, this next round we are going to put two single crochets in this first stitch, and then one in the next four stitches for this round. So there's two in that stitch. Okay, so next stitch, one. Next stitch is two. 
next stitch is three, and the next stitch is four. And then we repeat our sequence. So two single crochets in this next stitch, and then one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. Okay, and then do that all the way around, and at the end of uh, round six here, we'll have 54 stitches around. And then I'll come back and show you the next round. All right, I'm slip stitching into the first stitch here. I have 54 stitches around. Now, regardless of any size that you're making, um, larger than a obviously preemie size hat or a small baby size hat, um, any size that you're making of this hat, for this next round, we are going to, this is round seven, going on to round seven, we're gonna chain one, and we're just gonna put one single crochet into each stitch around, okay? Working in between those vertical lines of the stitch. Um, this round is just to kind of round out our hat, because you can see here it's super wonky looking, and we want to start making it bowl shaped. So this next round will help in aiding to make it more bowl shaped. So no increasing for any size. We are going to just single crochet, one single crochet in each stitch around, and that is for round seven. Then for round eight, we will increase again for larger sizes. So I'll show you that, but it's gonna be um, we've been increasing nine times around. For the next round, round eight, we're only going to increase six times. So I'll show you that after I'm done with round seven. Alright, once you finish round seven, there should just be 54 stitches around, no increasing. Just slip stitch to the first single crochet of this round, okay? Now, if you need to count back 54, you can, because this looks like a stitch. It's not. It's my chain one, okay? So I'm going to go into the first stitch, yarn over, pull through, and through, okay? And now round eight, we are going to increase only six times. So we're going to chain one. We're going to put two single crochets in our first stitch, still working in between those two vertical lines there. So one, and two, okay? And then one single crochet in the next eight stitches. So one, there's two, three, four, and then repeat that whole sequence all the way around. So two single crochets in this next stitch, and then one single crochet in the next eight stitches. That'll give you six increases around, and at the end of round eight then, you will have 60 stitches around. And then that's where you end for the child increase, the child size increase. That'll even probably fit a teen size head as well. Um, but the row after this, row 9, you can increase again, and you can do uh, two single crochet in the first stitch, and then one single crochet in the next nine stitches, and that'll get you 66 stitches around, which I'm not going to show in this video because I'm only going to do 60 stitches around, but it is in the written pattern. If you wanted to make it an adult size hat, you can, uh, but I'm only doing 60 stitches around, um, so that'll fit like a child teen sized head. So. We're just going to increase to 60 stitches for round 8, and then for round uh, 9, I'll come back and show you what I'm going to do. Alright, I just finished round 8, so I have 60 stitches around. I'm going to slip stitch to the first stitch right here, 
And for my hat, I'm done increasing. For your hat, if you're going to make a bigger size, um, just increase one more time to 66 stitches, like I explained in the last clip. Two single crochet in this first stitch, one single crochet in the next nine, and then repeat. Two single crochet in the next, one single crochet in the next nine, and you'll do that all the way around and you will have 66 stitches around. But for the rest of the hats, uh, whether you ended on uh, 54 stitches or 60 stitches, for rounds, if you ended on 54 stitches, rounds 8 through 11 will just be a single crochet in each stitch around. If you ended at 60 stitches where I'm at, rounds 9, 10, and 11 are going to be one single crochet in each stitch around. Slip stitch to the first stitch, chain one, and single crochet around. And then for if you did another increase after this, so round 9, if you have 66 stitches around, rounds 10 and 11 will be one single crochet around. So just single crochet or do your rounds uh, according to the pattern in the written instructions how they should be up until round 11. Okay so for me in this pattern I have 60 stitches around so I'm just gonna for rounds um, 9, 10, and 11 for me I'm going to put one single crochet in each stitch around. I'm getting kind of stuck here. There we go. And this one this one's a little tight, <laughs> but um, once I finish round 11, this is just one single crochet in each stitch around, okay? So, wow, that one's a little difficult. I'm just going to go into the stitch, whatever. <laughs> There's one. There's two. There we go. So, just one single crochet in between the vertical lines of each stitch around. Uh, I'm done increasing now at this point. So now it'll start to bowl down into a hat shape, which will be great. Uh, but once I finish round 11, okay, I'm on round 9 right now. I'm going to do rounds 9, 10, and 11. Just single crochet in each stitch around, and then once I do that and I finish round 11, I'll come back, and we are actually going to change stitches instead of single crochets. We are going to move to double crochets and make the design of our pattern, which will be really nice. So I'll show you that next. Alright, just finished round 11 here for myself. I'm going to slip stitch to the first stitch here. Yarn over, pull through and through. And then we're going to actually chain two for round 12. So going on to round 12 now for everyone, I guess, if you're making different sizes, we are going to double crochet into each stitch around. We're not going to be working in the V's anymore, we're working at the top of the stitch here, like this. So a double crochet is yarn over, go into the top of the stitch, right here, okay, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and that's a double crochet. So we'll do that all around. So no more increasing anymore. So we're going to double crochet in each stitch around. I'll have 60 stitches at the end of this round and then I'll come back and show you round 13. Alright, just finished round 12 here. We're just double crocheted around. So now we're going to ignore this chain up two here. We're going to go into the first double crochet stitch and slip stitch into there. Yarn over, pull through and through. And now we're going to chain two, going on to round 13, we are going to alternate front post and back post double crochet stitches. So ignore this chain two stitch here. We're going to go around this first double crochet stitch right here. So yarn over, go in the front of your work, around the post, get to the back of your work, and then back around it to the front again. Just like that. And then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. That's a front post double crochet. A back post double crochet is yarn over, go to the back of your work, around this next post here, back to the back of your work, yarn over and pull it through. Okay, just like that. Yarn over, pull through two, 
yarn over, pull through two. And that is a back post double crochet. So we're going to alternate these two stitches all the way around. So the next stitch of the front post double crochet, yarn over, go around the post. These ones are easier for me personally. And then back post double crochets are yarn over, go to the back of your work, around that post, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that's your back post double crochet. Okay, so front post and back post. Okay, just like that. So we're alternating these two stitches all the way around and that's what it's gonna start looking like. So I'll do that and then I'll be right back and we'll go on to round 14. Alright, my last stitch here is a front post double crochet. Yours might be a back post double crochet. It doesn't matter. You just alternate your stitches just like that all the way around. It looks good. We're going to slip stitch to the first front post double crochet stitch right here. So ignore the chain up two, just go into the front post double crochet at the top, yarn over, pull through and through, chain two, and the next three rounds, rounds 14, 15, and 16, are going to be a repeat of round 13. So on all the front post stitches, we are going to put a front post. And on all the back post stitches, we are going to put a back post. So alternate front post double crochet, and then back post double crochet. Okay, and that's for the next three rounds. So you want to have a total of these double crochet rounds, you want to have a total of five in a row, just like that. So I'm going to do that for rounds 14, 15, and 16. Once I'm finished with round 16, um, round 17 will be next, and then I'll show you, uh, we're going to go back to doing these types of stitches after this chunk of um, this bunch of stitches. So do rounds 14, 15, and 16 and I'll be back. Alright, just finishing round 16 here. I'm going to slip stitch to the first stitch. I forgot to mention that after every round just slip stitch to the first stitch and then chain up two. Uh, but after round 16, as you can see here, we have five rows of our front and back post stitches looking great. And our hat is starting to get into the bowl type shape. As you can see here, looking good. Yay! It looks so fabulous. Okay, so now, going on to round 17, we're only going to chain one. And we're just going to single crochet around. So we can work in the top of these stitches, just like we were working in the top of the stitches, just single crochet in each stitch around. That's for round 17. We're just going to single crochet. Okay, so I'll do that and then I'll show you how to do round 18. Alright, once you've single crocheted around, we're just going to slip stitch in the first single crochet of this round and then chain one. And now we're going to do the same type of work that we did up here, we're going to do here. And we're going to do um, nine rows here, so this is row, we're actually doing ten rows total, but we already did a row. So rounds 18 to 26, we are going to single crochet, working in between these two uh, vertical lines of the single crochet. Okay? That'll give that knit look. If you don't want to work in between those lines, you can work in the top of the stitch. It just not, it's not going to look exactly like my hat. But it will still be super fabulous and a uh, nice design. But I like the working in between those vertical lines is making it look like a knit type of stitch. So I'm going to do that for rounds 18 to 26. Once I'm finished with round 26, I'll come back and show you what to do next. But um, just when you're done with each round, I keep forgetting to say slip stitch to the first stitch and then chain one and go on to your next round. So do that and then once I finish round 26, I'll come back and I'll show you what to do next. Alright, I just finished round 26. There's 10 single crochet rows here from the base, or from this one all the way up to this one here. 
and you can see I worked into the V part so you can see the V's on top of each other looking very cool so now we're gonna slip stitch to the first stitch and then we're basically going to repeat our pattern in this section here remember how I double crocheted around and then we alternated the front post and back post stitches for five rows total on the double crochet stitches I'm going to actually do for this part since it's toward the end of my hat you can either do six rows seven rows or eight rows okay so I'm going to it depends on how uh, tall or how long you want your hat to be um, but this will measure for me I'm making a child teen size um, so this uh, I'm going to end up doing eight rows for the double crochets so this next round uh, round 27 is just gonna be double crochets and then rounds 28 to the end are going to be alternating the front post and back post stitches okay so I'm going to do that and then I'll show you how my hat looks and we'll fasten it off together alright so I did eight rows total as you can see I alternated front post and back post stitches so I'm gonna slip stitch to the first front post double crochet yarn over pull through and through and then chain one and then we're going to cut our yarn and pull it through and pull tight now if you wanted to do more or less oh my gosh that looks so fabulous I love it <laughs> so I ended up grabbing a tape measure and my hat measures eight and a half inches which is a teen adult size um, or like a teen size so if you wanted an adult hat it should be nine inches so maybe do one more round um, but if you wanted a child size it should be like seven and a half to eight inches for the child size uh, in length so just a, it depends on how uh, many rows of this part you should do depending on how long your hat is or how the size is for you so you can do more or less of this section but that's it that is a beautiful hat I love it so much so to finish off we're just going to yarn our needle and sew in that end that we just cut just underneath these stitches here and then we can cut any extra let me just make sure it's secure <laughs> okay and then cut any extra stretch it out Okay, and then for this top part, you can see on my hat there's like a bigger type of circle from the chain two. You can sew in uh, this straggler from the beginning, uh, or you can just add a palm, which I'm not sure if I have one. Oh, I have these cute ones over here. Whoa, look at this one. Hang on. So you can add a palm if you want to, look at that cool palm, oh my goodness, that's a big one. I think I got these on Amazon. Yeah, faux fur palm with glitter, oh no, I got these at Joann's. I do remember that, I bought these like last year. <laughs> yeah, these are super cool if you want to find these at Joann's or your craft stores or maybe online but they have gold in them that's so cool um, I bought this one and this one this is just my bag of palms I've got these ones on Amazon yeah all these ones are from Amazon but these two I got at Joann's these are really cool this one would be cool too super fabulous should we try a black one meh black is just that one's actually pretty cute so you can choose whatever, if you want a palm on top or if you want to leave it plain, that is creator's choice. You just sew on your palm on top. Um, but uh, yeah, that is it. This evergreen hat it would be great for, you know, obviously, you know, the sparkly and it's kind of girly, but whatever. You can, women can wear this, men can wear this, people of all types can wear these hats. And that's kind of why I named it evergreen because... It's for everybody, and it's green, but you can choose whatever color, obviously. 
<laughs> but that's really it. Huge thank you to actually We Crochet or Knit Picks, if you've heard of them. They provided the yarn for this project. And thanks to my dad for filming this tutorial, editing it, and posting it up on YouTube for everyone to see. And of course, thanks to you for watching. If you learned something, please subscribe. Leave me a comment, and uh, if you share this on social media, make sure to hashtag YarnUtopia so I can see your fabulous hats. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. And you can barely see the seam. I think the seam is here, right? You can't even see the seam. Dude, this is great. <laughs> okay, I'm literally about to make one of these for myself because this turned out so fabulous. And that wonky look on the top where this circle was looking all weird, it looks fine. It looks so cool, actually. So yay, yay us for making this. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Until next time, happy hooking.